welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on here really quick and film, it's like a mini haul, if you would want to say that. Uh, I went to Walgreens, like just like right now, I just got home right after work. I went to Walgreens because I got out of work early and, um, excuse me. And I wanted to pick up a few like makeup products at Walgreens because I am running out of a few things here at home. So I got a few extra things that I wanted to try. So I I don't know. Um, so I just wanted to like share it with you guys since I have a chance to come here and like sit down and film and there's like no one bothering me. You know, like I don't have my brother's not next door. He's at school still, so he's not like making noise or yelling at his TV or anything like that. So I just want to come on here, and I know it's been like about a week or a little over a week that I posted a video, so I wanted to get this up for you guys like right away. If you're wondering, this is a Little Mermaid dress, yes, and I have a Little Mermaid like n like pendant like necklace right here. And all of this, I got a Hot Topic, and I love it. I love Hot Topic so much, and they're actually coming out with a new line of clothing for Once Upon a Time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Once Upon a Time came back on, and I'm not going to say anything because I still need to watch it. And I've been hearing a lot of good things, and I'm like telling everyone, like everywhere I go, I'm like, don't say anything, don't say anything, because I really, I want to watch for myself. So I have it on Hulu, Hulu Plus. I'm gonna watch that today with my mom. So I'm super excited. To the haul. Um, I don't know if I wanna start with my makeup first or just my guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> okay, so this is my guilty pleasure from Walgreens. I don't know what it is. My fiance hates this, but I love it for some reason. This is sea salt and malt vinegar so salt and vinegar chips and it's kettle cooked so they're not fried they're baked and what I love about this is that there is a crunch to it like when you actually eat it it's like it's crunchy chips and then you get the salt and the vinegar it's like oh it's so so good and there are two for for four all the time at Walgreens so I always buy two bags two bags. I share with my mom, but I don't like, sometimes they're just all for me and that's terrible because it's like so much salt, but still I just can't, I can't help it. I really can't. Like these are the best and they're by Delish. So you just go to Walgreens and like go to their chip section and hopefully they have these because every time I go there, I either like get the very last two or the last one and I'm just like, it's so good. It's so, so good. So, guilty pleasure right here. This is like, I'm gonna have some of this with a Once Upon a Time and like afterwards some coffee. Mm. Not while I'm eating this because it's kind of nasty, but afterwards, a little nice amount of coffee, some caffeine in me, good to go. All right, on to the makeup products. I got like, not a ton, but I got several things. Like I went in for one thing and I just ended up with like a bunch of other stuff. This is what I actually went in for. This is the, you can see, this is the Maybelline Master Concealer, or Master Conceal, and it's a camouflaging conceal, con concealer. This is a camouflaging concealer, and I used to get the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, it's one of my favorites, but they didn't have my shade, and I really need a concealer, like, like now. So I went over to the, their other little section and I saw this one and I saw that it was camouflage, which my foundation is a camouflage like liquid foundation and I was like, oh, okay, so it's, a, it's obviously full coverage, high resistance, undetectable finish, camouflages imperfections and dark circles. So you probably don't need a lot of this so a little probably goes a very very long way in my experience with using anything that says camouflage or full coverage so i'm interested to try this out if you've tried it please leave me a comment down below and let me know if it's like yay or nay and i'll kind of see it for myself a little bit too kind of give my final thoughts maybe i'll do a review on this let me know comments down below i remembered that i needed face primer and I couldn't decide which one I wanted so I went over to the Milani section and Milani is great Milani 
Um, I have some of, I have the Milan, Milan, the Milani blush in the shade Luminoso, and I love that blush. And I have a few other Milani products, so I figured, yeah, might not try out their primer. I'm due for a new primer anyway. This one's the mattifying and pore minimizing, so this is more like from to mattify your skin. And this one is a hydrating and pore minimizing, so they both minimize pores and they're both oil free so is it right here on the bottom but one is for mattifying and one's for hydration i couldn't decide which one i wanted whether i was feeling like oh i want to be more hydrated or i want to be more matte i couldn't decide because my mind changes like every day I, I have a feeling that now that it's fall and we're getting into winter i'll probably lean more towards being looking like have a more matte look but I don't know if that's going to dry me out too much, so I might use something hydrating, so I don't know. My mind changes all the time, so I got both of them, just try them out. So maybe a review on this in the future. While at the Milani section, I got the Milani eyeshadow primer because my primer, I don't know what's going on with it. I think this is like a sign that you need to get more primer because... Have you guys ever experienced this where your primer starts turning into like a liquid, like like watery? I don't know if that's just me or where I'm storing my products, but or if it's telling me, girl, you need a new primer. I took it as that, so right away, the moment I like heard like the watery texture in the um, bottle and in the like the little containers that they're in, um, I right away got a new primer. So I'm trying this one out and see how it is. So this is an eyeshadow primer. It's lightweight, invisible finish, works on all skin tones. So hopefully it works. So if I got this, let me know if you've tried this before and if it's good. Went over to the wet and wild section because I'm kind of like, I go to Maybelline just for the concealer and then I go to Milani and then wet and wild because those are like my favorite drugstore products. Um, I saw a Becca Lupercia. I keep mispronouncing your name, girl. I love you. Um, but I saw her use this, the Wet n Wild um, setting spray, and it says that it's an all-day wear. I saw her use it in one of her videos, and I was like, where did she get that? So I found it at uh, Walgreens, and I was like, girl, good. And honestly, like if you haven't checked her out, you should really check her out because she talks about everything cruelty free and i've discovered a lot of like new products because of her and new brands and it's awesome that she's you know standing up for that so i saw her use this and of course it has a bunny on it so it's cruelty free and i was like okay it's an all-day wear photo focus setting spray and then might as well might as well try it saw her use it and was curious to see how it worked so i got this right over here you lip products like I don't have enough right so I got a few lip products from Wet n Wild and I haven't opened them yet so this tells you that like it still has like the packaging like the wrapper on it um, I just got home from the store and I'm curious to try these out so the two I want to talk about these two first actually so these two they are What's it called? I'm trying to looking it upside down. They're called Mega Slicks Balm Stain. Is that correct? Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color. So it's moisturizing and it's a lip stain, which I'm hoping when it says lip stain, it means that it stays on. And this is a really nice, like fall, dark, like brown, red. I don't even know what to call it, but um. It's a very, very nice. I loved the color. It's perfect for the fall. I was like, ooh, I can do a lot of looks with these, with this one. This one's called Truffle in Paradise, which is an interesting name. And this one's more like a purple, like a red. You can kind of, if I hold them together, you can kind of see the difference. This one's a lot darker. This one's lighter, a little bit more purple into it. And this one's called Lady and the Vamp. I like the name, Lady and the Vamp, like Vampire Slayer. Ooh. So, this is the same thing so i'm hoping that when you open this it like twists up i'm hoping maybe unless it's just that top part that you get i don't know but um but yeah so i'm gonna try these out and see if they look nice see if they actually stay on i think i, I want to try like doing like a test 
like an all day wear test. I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below to see if that's something you want to see. The next one is a velvet matte lip color and I absolutely loved this color here. It's a, it's called Cherry, but it's, it's like a purple, but like a dark purple. I don't know how to explain it. It's like purple mixed with like a beige and they had a baby and this was their baby. I don't know if that's like the right way to express it, but I don't know. Like that's how, that's kind of like what I'm thinking right now, but it's really nice. It's in the color cherry and it's a matte lip color. And I have another um, matte lip cream or something, um, but this one's a velvet like finish. I am, it says velvet, so I mean, it, it, do they mean like it goes on like velvet, like that smooth? Hopefully it doesn't like dry out my lips. That's like the one thing I'm hoping for and that you don't get like the inner crusty thing on your lips. It's so nasty. But um, hopefully all of these work out. Wet n Wild I know for sure is cruelty free. Not sure about Milani. I haven't really started looking at that until I was watching uh, Becca and, and Becca like just always talks about cruelty free products and she even like through like got rid of a bunch of like makeup that she had that was not cruelty free so I mean I don't know it's something I haven't looked into and it's great to be educated on it that's why I always watch her I love it's like she's teaching me about all these new things and it makes me a little bit more conscious about it and like yeah there are certain things that I still love and I still buy it and they, I repurchase them but I, do, I am more conscious of what I buy as well that's all I got from Walgreens. I'm going to be trying these out very, very soon. If there's something specific that you want to see, like a review or an all day wear, like test, like all day, like wear test, like of one of these products, like right away, you have to let me know. Like you need, like I, I tell, I tell that to people all the time. Like you need to let me know what you want to see. Okay. Cause then I don't know what to do sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, doy, like what should I do? So that is it. That's my little mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys soon. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. Like, I don't, like, tell your pets, tell your cat, tell your cow. I don't, whoever it is that you can tell, spread the word. Really, really spread the word. And if you wanted to check out more cruelty-free products, and cruelty free videos and vegan videos, I have Becca's uh, link down below in the description bar. So make sure to check her out for sure. And you know, love her to death and I want her to have as much support and subscribers and views as possible. So she deserves it. And she's a great person, you'll love her from the moment you see her, okay? So make sure you take care of all of that. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.